wherever we can get kicked out of, we, uh, we pretty much try to do that. Best paintball players from across the globe have gathered for the NPPL Super 7 Series. The action has been hot as 18 pro teams have worked their way through the preliminaries, aiming for a shot at the championship round. Four teams are left standing. San Diego Dynasty, LA Infamous, Stockholm Joy Division, and Pittsburgh All-Americans. Today, they'll play for a spot in the finals and their share of a prize package worth over $40,000. Throughout the season, we've gone through thousands of paintballs to expose the personalities that drive the nation's number one extreme sport. We recently joined nine of these amazing athletes for a night out on the town to see what the life of a pro paintball player is like beyond the paint. Paintball attracts that certain personality that, uh, you know, just fun, smart individuals. We share the love for the sport. I think we share the love for life. Weekends are kind of busy for everybody, so luckily for us, we have every weekday off, unless we're at an event. Usually uh, we'll have a party starting on Monday, then we'll have another one usually on Tuesday, and then there's the midweek Wednesday party, then on Thursday there's sometimes a party also, and then uh, Friday, of course, you know, a Friday night party. But Friday night's usually a relaxed party because there's paintball on Saturday. And Saturday night, usually no party, and then there's the Sunday night app post paintball party. It's a small group of professional players and the funny thing is we all hang out together. Whose birthday is it? This guy. This guy. What's the deal? 21 years old. What's the deal tonight? Uh, it's not officially his birthday unless we get a fight. I guess I don't go looking for it. I just, you know, if the, the time's right and someone says something stupid, yeah. Nothing wrong with somebody getting hit once in a while. Hey, Dynasty is here! Yes, Dynasty! Hey, here's Dynasty! Yes, here's Dynasty! Oh! Everybody, I think, likes Alex. Uh, he's kind of like the little punkish kind of guy, which everybody always kind of is like, oh, hey, let's be friends with this guy. He just has this weird personality where it's like kind of a sarcastic personality, which goes goes really well with mine. And here's Ryan Greenspan. Look at, look at the dimple. Look at, look at the dimple. Ryan Greenspan, he's out there, he's fun. It's crazy. That's all you can really say about him. We like to hang out together. We like to cause a lot of trouble together. We like to travel around to different places and get kicked out of hotels and whatnot. Hey, he's jealous because they have third right now. You're right, you're right. You're right. A typical day for Josh Davey. Now, a lot of people around here are going to say absolutely nothing. A little Xbox. Hey. What's going on here? I'm on the phone, he's on the phone, and he's on the phone. You know why? Because we have girls. That's why we're on the phone. Mr. Lasoya, what, what can you say about him? Um, he's wide open at times, you know? I think that's what everybody likes about him. He's got great hair. People keep on telling me to cut it off, but after they after I did that, they would they probably wouldn't know who I was. See? Look at how hot we are. The Pony's a good dude. Like, I've known uh, Chris since way, way, way back in the day. Chris Lasoya yes. is probably the most famous paintball player of all time. No, but the most famous model. So Look anyway. at this guy. OK, let's get I'd be back. Yeah, anyway, Alex, so. definitely the second best looking guy in paintball. One of the nicest guys. Like, you know, I've never, ever said anything mean to Alex or even had a mean thought about him. I'm proud to say I just know some high-end male model, so it's, you know, I tell all the girls, yeah, I know that guy, yeah, that guy right there. How about me? Maybe I can get you a pair of his jeans or something. And you got JC. JC is always in the phone. How you doing, buddy? I'm talking to my girlfriend. What's up? Who's that? Hold, Hold on, sorry. JC is always in the phone to you, and we're filming, like, for TV right now. So, yeah, I'm not a big party guy, man. A lot of the guys are party guys out there, man. I'm more low-key, man. I like being on the farm, hunting, fishing, and stuff like that. Thank God Rich is a saint. Spend as much time in church as I am, kind of have to be, I guess. I think he's fine. I think he's fine. <laughs> I'm not touching him. I'm not touching him. 
rich. He's hilarious. Funny guy. Intense and crazy. You know, he's he's real straightforward. He doesn't beat around the bush. He doesn't deal with any of that bull. This is a very smart person, right? Here. Okay, I did read a book once. One smart guy, one good looking guy. I, well, I guess I lived the paintball life for so long, um, all the way till now that I, you know, I've really focused. I'm not at the bars like going crazy like I did when I was, you know, 18. So, hey, look, it's those guys again. <laughs> Great, you know. I have to kick somebody out again. We do everything that you'd ever want to do when you don't have a job. We just have a great time. It's it's awesome. Coming up, a few of our featured pros continue their chase for the championship as LA Infamous takes on Stockholm Joy Division in the first round of the NPPL semifinals. When Extreme Paintball Beyond the Paint continues on FSN. In 2005, monster balls were created, dominating the competition. Through modern science and technology, monster balls have evolved. A more accurate shell designed for deadly accuracy terrorizes in all weather conditions. Thicker and brighter for maximum markability. Monster balls, the world's best-selling paintballs, just got better. FSN's coverage of Extreme Paintball Beyond the Paint is brought to you by Spider, passion for paintball. By Mad Croc, energy gum, fruit, shoes, and drinks. It's what you need. And by JT Paintball, paintball for life. Let's go! The NPPL Super 7 Series semifinals are underway for the Pro Division. In this format, the final four teams are matched highest ranked against lowest ranked in a best two out of three competition to determine who will advance to the final round. These teams will be playing the same bunker scheme they've seen throughout the qualifiers. The advantage will go to the teams who are able to secure the key positions in the red zone first on both the snake side and the Dorito side of the field. Those who control these positions early and take the advantage on bodies should be able to grab the opposing team's flag for the win. This season, we've seen nine unique pro athletes lead their team towards some remarkable victories. As we head into the MPPL semis, only four of them remain. Ryan Greenspan has been remarkable throughout the qualifiers, leading San Diego Dynasty with intensity and consistency. How you become the best in the world or, or one of the best kind of guys, it just takes a lot. You know, there's a lot of trial and error. You know, we, we definitely lost a lot to become really good. And we just stuck with it. That's the bottom line, you know. Dynasty's team captain, Alex Frazy, has led the charge for the team's strategy and execution. When I'm making a decision, I try to get the team's, you know, entire opinion, the team's opinion, not my opinion. You know, I can overlook my opinion to, to understand which way the team wants to move. LA Infamous team captain LB Fowl has proven to be one of the most well-rounded athletes in paintball. It devastated my mom in the beginning because, uh, you know, I, went, I was playing basketball, baseball, and football, and it was one of those things to where I told my mom one day, I was like, you know, I'd, I'd give it all up to play paintball full-time, and I think it crushed her. <laughs> Fowl's longtime teammate, Travis Lemansky, has led Infamous with a wealth of experience. I'm probably one of the um, longest standing pros that I know of, and uh, I've been in the game for a lot of years. My entire life is paintball, from work to uh, work to play, so. Now on the NPPL center court, it's Los Angeles Infamous versus Stockholm Joy Division. Let's go to the esteemed pro veteran, Rich Telford, for the call of the game. Next up, we have Infamous versus Joy Division. Looks like neither team loses anybody out of the break. There's a good move up the gut to center temple. Back to one, three to one, Brandon. 
There's Brandon Lamerson for the uh, infamous team in the center temple. Go, Johnny. Got, Johnny, got to move. Oh, we lost Cali. We lost Cali. We lost Cali. Looks like infamous just lost a player. There goes Maximus, or uh, one of the Joy Division players, into the second snake. Oh, it looks like I see the referee running in there to pull a player out. Looks like it might be a little controversy. Oh, he's pulling another player. Looks like it might have been a one-for-one one or maybe even a two-for-one. I don't know. Travis does not look very happy about that call at all. You can see the wind's picking up a little bit, blowing those bunkers around. You can see right now we have four infamous players. Count them. One, two, three, and four infamous players walking back to the box. So that means uh, Joy Division is going to win this game pretty handily. Max is second guy in the snake. Joy Division loses their first guy in the snake, but it's okay. Max is following up. Right now, uh, John Richardson's over in the car wash, and Brandon Lamerson's in the center temple, but that's it. Everyone else from uh, Infamous is in the dead box. Six or seven on, uh, I should say six on two is a real tough game to win. Brandon's in a tough spot right now. No one can really watch over and protect him, so he's looking to get offensive. He's getting on, getting on his feet. John's there in the car wash to kind of watch over him, but he can't really protect him. John said he might have just shot somebody. There goes Brandon trying to get the snake, and he gets Tabata at center 50. I think he got him, I'm not sure. No, he didn't get either one of the guys, unfortunately. But it was, you know, I guess it's better to die going forward than backwards. John gets shot there at the Drito, and it's a, a very convincing win for Joy Division. Joy Division shot at one player at the break, then got a one-for-one one off his right side, and at the same time shot another player. So there was four infamous players leaving at the same time making it a really easy game for Joy Division. Maximus walked all the way down the end of the snake, shot the last guy, John Richardson, across the field, grabs the flag and hangs it. There's an adrenaline rush, I'm sure, from the crowd. I mean, it's like all of a sudden, Boston has turned into Sweden, right? Yeah. <laughs> so how does that help you guys? Uh, so much. I mean, you can't get closer to Sweden in, uh, in the U.S. Than the, than the Northeast side, so. I guess we're a little bit like brothers, you know? Yeah. We're the brothers, you know? Plus, a lot of people that live here ca came from Sweden, you know, a couple hundred years ago. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there, there are a lot of Vikings here. I can see it. The crowd here is just on fire. Thank you very much. Northeast rules. Thank you. Coming up, Alex Frazier keeps things fresh with a side trip to the salon. Plus, he and the rest of Dynasty take on Pittsburgh All-Americans in the second match of the MPPL semifinals. Next on FSN. <laughs> The Spider Classic Series. The Spider VS Series. The Spider MR Series. Celebrating 15 years of performance, reliability, and design. View these products and more by visiting us online at spider.tv. years, Jeff Orr worked side by side with his father Bud Orr to develop and innovate some of the best paintball markers the world has ever seen. I'm Jeff Orr. I spent my life making some of the sickest paintball guns on the planet. My latest creations are the Autococker SR and my very own Signature Series. Each Jeff Orr Signature Series Autococker is designed, custom fitted and machined by Jeff at the War Games facility in Southern California. Every month Jeff creates a new run of limited edition custom fitted autocockers and pump markers. Autococker, when accuracy counts. Welcome back to Extreme Paintball Beyond the Paint on FSN. Our next MPPL semifinal matchup features Pittsburgh All-Americans against the top-ranked team in the league, San Diego Dynasty. Dynasty's team captain, Alex Frazier, is known as one of the brightest young players in the league. But he credits at least part of his success to a laid-back lifestyle and, of course, regular trips to the salon. Chest wax. How we doing, ladies? I practice magic sometimes, and I'm an artist, so I like to keep my fingers in really good shape. Mmm. Delicious. This is the key. The key to paintball success. Manny Petty. When you go play paintball, you know, it destroys your fingers, and, you know, the dirt and, and slime in your, in your shoes will just destroy your toenails. You know, I cannot stand having dirty and, and grimy nails. Alex is a pretty eccentric guy. He, uh, I don't know, he's, he's got some, you know, gender issues. <laughs> I'm gonna have to warn you though. I'm extremely ticklish on the bottom of my feet. You having a good day? Yeah? I do a lot of running around. And that's why I need my feet to be in tip top shape. Because they carry me to victory. 
How old do you think I am? 1920. See that? 1920. See, my lifestyle keeps me looking youthful. Very important. Stress-free lifestyle. Uh, I'm 35. She's trying to suffocate my feet. Get me out of here! Just in case you guys are wondering, uh, that's my girlfriend right there. Okay? Just to confirm. She is a girl. Certified female. Who would have thought? So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go get a, a mani-pedi with my girl every once in a while and, you know, just try to keep it sexy and looking good. It's the key. You want to stay sharp on the field? Keep her nails nice and smooth and sharp so everything slides smoothly. Secret to the pros, kids. Now for their first challenge of the semis. San Diego Dynasty is getting set for the breakout against Pittsburgh All-Americans. I mean, I definitely think they'll come out aggressive. They got a, a lot of young, fast kids over there, and, you know, they're not going to hold anything back, I don't think. Here we go with Dynasty and the All-Americans. No corner over here. No corner. No corner. Kyle no, 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 no. Martinez goes to that short carry for the snake. She's inside, and, oh, he's eliminated early again. All-Americans also drop a player. Anytime, anytime. There goes Justin's move to that Dorito. Both teams are six on six right now. You can tell the crowd's really pumped up for this game. You hear a lot of cheers going on. Ball two, ball two, ball two, ball two. Justin's all the way in Dorito three now. That's a great position for him to be in. He's been real dangerous there all weekend ball long. Ball two, ball two. You hear Alex calling ball two, which means Dynasty's lost two players. So two players down for uh, Dynasty, and now two players down for Philly as well. Five on five. They filled it! They filled it, Justin! They filled it! They filled it! Car wash! Car wash! These Americans have to watch out for uh, Justin over there in that, Justin. in that Drito 3. He's doing a lot of damage. There's a good Angel. shot of Alex and Angel. One of the American Car players wash, trying to run down and take uh, Justin, Justin Schwartz down. He's crawling for it as if he hasn't been shot, Dorito so apparently one. he didn't get shot. Dorito 1! Dorito 1! Now, technically, if you get shot and you crawl forward like that, that's usually a one for one. They didn't get the call. Back left, Dorito 1! Back left, Dorito 1! That's Alex there, the Dorito, kind of trying to tell his players where the bodies are and what they're doing. That's Ryan Griesbank going from the 50 snake up to the All-American side of the snake. As, as he does that, the All-Americans fill the snake. Ryan gets another G across the field, shooting the Dorito out, leaving All-Americans only having three players left. Back left! Oh, here goes that snake up, just like we talked about, and Angel shoots him out, tells him bye-bye, get off the field. Ryan's probably going to move up and close this game out now. Isolate one guy, shoot across the field, get him on that angle, then run up and eliminate the last player. That was a great game by Ryan Greenspan. Got three or four Gs, went all the way through and eliminated the last two players. Great game by Dynasty, but even a better game by Ryan Greenspan. In this Dynasty All-American game, uh, both teams broke out strong, eliminating one player on the opposing team. Both teams were six on six, but that little uh, Justin Schwartz got into Dorito three early. And like he's done so many games before, he did damage from there, got some Gs out of there. Um, really important, really big impact in the game. Later in the game, Ryan Greenspan moves through the snake, eliminating three players and closing out the game for a strong win by Dynasty. I look around behind me in the beginning, I noticed we lost two guys. So, you know, I immediately communicate that, and then that'll change my job because, you know, I want to keep myself alive because we lost two guys. Well, I saw Todd die, and I, uh, I basically panicked and, uh, and just kind of went up front, and it just kind of worked out for me. I had my eyes closed the majority of the time. I, I just hide, and uh, I just yell, Ryan, they're shooting at me, <laughs> shoot that guy. And usually uh, things work out okay. All right, we'll just let you yeah. in. Thanks. Up next, LA Infamous faces a crucial second round match against Sweden's Stockholm Joy Division. The Spider Classic Series. The Spider VS Series. The Spider MR Series. Celebrating 15 years of performance, reliability, and design. View these products and more by visiting us online at spider.tv. FSN's coverage of Extreme Paintball Beyond the Paint is brought to you by Empire. It's what we do. By the United States Marine Corps, the few, the proud, the Marines. And by X-Ball Paintballs, found at fine retailers everywhere. Let's go!
Our first NPPL semifinal matchup of the day found LA Infamous going against Stockholm Joy Division. Infamous was plagued with penalties early on, and Joy Division never let up, racking up a strong win. Our next bout brings these two teams together again for their second game in a best two out of three series. Infamous must prevail to have any hopes of earning a spot in the finals. Let's go once more to Rich Telford for the call. All right, here we go. Another big game of uh, Stockholm Joy Division versus Infamous. There's Joy getting ready to break out. Both teams with pretty conservative breakouts. Oh, Joy Division has Savon walking out of the back center, and then Max walking out of short camp. He went off the right. So it's uh, six on five right now. Infamous has a little bit of advantage. Callie also gets in that snake really early. That's a big advantage again for Infamous. Infamous has got one more body alive, and they've got, oh, they lost another body. There goes Brandon Lamerson. So it's five on five, but uh, Infamous with a little bit more territory. He's at the Utah, he's at the Utah! Callie in the back right! G, G2, G2! They're probably gonna try to look to get in that snake as soon as they can. Obviously, a big disadvantage if you're not in that snake early on in the game. There's Travis Lansky in the car wash. He went to the snake! He went to the snake! Now, obviously, Infamous still has the advantage because they're in snake two, so Joy's gotta try to get from snake one into snake two. Referee's running in there to see if that guy got shot inside or in the pack on the way in there. Doesn't look like he did. Snake one, back right! Infamous has got three guys on the Drio side, two guys over here on the Snake side. He's gonna go, he's gonna go, he's gonna go. He's gonna go to four, he's gonna go to four. Okay, now LB got pushed in off that tape, so now his, his mirror's pushing him in. Joy Division crawling from Drio three to Drio two, or Drio four, and gets run while he was doing that. Now he's getting shot by Cali from the Snake. Not sure if the, if the infamous player got him or it was Callie, but between the two of them, they eliminated a guy, and I think the infamous player stayed alive. Oh, another Joy Division player gets shot out of the snake now. This is bad for Joy Division. Car wash! Oh, and there goes the, the guy in the, the back left. Yeah, this is real bad for Joy Division now. They've got a guy in a small Dorito. I believe there's still a guy in the car wash. The car wash guy's eliminated. Leading four infamous players against the one guy in the small Drio. You hear him calling Drio 2, saying where he is, and then run through and get him. That was a great game from Infamous. They, they had that point where they were five on five. They got penetration in the snake. Joy Division tried to counter by going from Drio 4 to Drio 5. That guy got run, got shot out of there, and then Infamous with one body up pressed the advantage, shot the snake, shot the corner of the car wash, and then ran the guy in the small Drio. It was a great game. We lost our first game, so we figured that Joy Division was going to you know, dig in a little bit deeper than they, they normally would. Um, we knew that we had to go. We were going to go at all costs. But towards the end of the game, Glenn Takamoto made a great move out in the Dorito side, the show tape. Stuck a guy. He lived. Kevin Rudolph, Callie came down our snake side and, you know, happened to get a couple Gs off the inside. And, um, you know, it just it was really good teamwork. It was that's what wins games out here. Coming up on the next Extreme Paintball. Beyond the Paint. Infamous and Joy Division will face each other one last time for a berth in the NPPL Finals. The winner will play either San Diego Dynasty or Pittsburgh All-Americans for the number one spot in the league. It's all right here on FSN.